Following uh, and reporting and covering the Frankie de Jong transfer saga this summer has been exhausting. And that's very politely put. It's been an absolute mess and a travesty. Barcelona, more than a club. That's the tagline of their club. They are more than a club. They are, I don't know what to call them now, but my God. The latest developments coming from David Ornstein from The Athletic, that Barcelona now are threatening Frankie de Jong with legal action and trying to get him to rip up the contract extension that he signed, consider it annulled, and to go back to the original contract that he signed in 2019. Genuinely, I can't believe what I'm reading. I'm going to run through the article, going to run through and explain it all for you. But this De Jong situation is not, by the looks of things, still getting resolved anytime soon. And we knew we needed De Jong before the Brighton defeat. We knew we needed De Jong before the summer started. We knew we needed a midfielder like De Jong for years and years and years and years and years. Still, we're no closer to it. Please, if you do... Well, not enjoy the video, but if the, if the video helps you, understand it a bit more. But honestly, this is just full-blown crazy. Let's run through the article from David Ornstein here saying that Barcelona have told Frankie de Jong they want him to just rip up his existing contract and return to the deal he was on before, alleging the terms given to him by the club's previous board involved criminality and provide grounds for legal action against those involved. Barcelona are the ones trying to threaten legal action over criminality. Pot, kettle, black. The Catalan side of serious financial problems and among the ways they are trying to impose, improve matters, sorry, is by selling De Jong or reaching an agreement with him over deferred wages, which as we know at the moment, I think they've offered around about 7 million euros. He's owed 17 million. There has so far been no compromise of a deal between De Jong and the club. Look at this. United had a bid for De Jong accepted on the 14th of July. And the next day, according to sources in Spain, David Ornstein reports, Barcelona wrote to De Jong on July the 15th, claiming to have found evidence of criminal actions on behalf of all of the parties that signed that contract renewal. Which means that United, no, not United, Barcelona, at the same time as uh, negotiating with United over a deal for De Jong, they were getting people to look into the background of that contract to say, are there any grounds that we can get away without paying this contract? And they think they found some. They're, they're digging dirt in their own house. It's mind-blowing, this story. It's, it really is staggering beyond belief. More detail here from David Ornstein. It was a two-year extension that he signed uh, that is reported to have reduced his salary. We know what that was. Let me pull this up here. We ran through this in detail on United People's TV. His salary got reduced there to three million, down from the 14 million which he signed in the original contract. Also deferred it by another five million in those two in, in those two years. He gave up what 11, 16, 16, 17 million euros. And then he was going to get paid an extra four million euros per year, including extra loyalty bonuses. It's basically a thank you to helping the club be able to afford what they've been doing. And now Barcelona are trying to put a handbrake on that and step away from it and trying to worm their way out of paying what they owe him. De Jong's deal was announced alongside three others, Gerard Pique, Tess Jegen and Clement Longley, who all signed pay cuts. The letter sent to De Jong, this is, this is crazy. The letter sent to De Jong last month is sought to inform the Dutchman that Barcelona think they are in a position to initiate criminal proceedings to establish what happened in relation to the signing of his contract and ascertain where responsibility resides. It is believed to then express Barcelona's wish to rescind this deal and proceed with De Jong's career under the conditions he agreed when he signed. It's staggering. The Athletic understands the previous board are confident in the legality of the contract. That's not what uh, Laporta is trying to say now. Sources around the Catalan club suggest there has been further dialogue between Barca and De Jong's camp in which the present board have identified their predecessors for the alleged criminality and warned De Jong and his representatives that they may also be implicated. Not only are they trying to assassinate the character of De Jong and have been all summer long now, they're trying to point the finger at him and his, not him, obviously, but his representatives <laughs> for being criminals in this whole situation. It is. 
this is the you, you're never going to see anything like this again in football i do not think this is going to set a level and a precedent which will now then be used to make sure stuff like this doesn't happen again in the future barcelona have tried everything within their power this summer to try and get De Jong off their books they've agreed that fee with manchester united look as i said this story from um david ornstein on the 15th of july is when they sent that letter out threatening legal action the day after they agreed a deal with Manchester United for him to leave. And this whole time they've been trying to get him to reduce his wages. And he's never at any point said he's going to take that pay cut. Because he is owed a substantial amount of money. And Barcelona now, having tried to get him to take the wage cut, that's not worked. They're trying to suggest that that contract is illegal and that they aren't Therefore, obliged to pay De Jong what he is owed. I, so I've got, I kind of got a, a, like a, a weird smirk on my face because I do not believe what I'm reading. And Man United have got caught up in the saga of all sagas because the word criminality is now being involved in it. It's not just about fees and wages and what's owed and what the moral obligations are. Barcelona are trying to pull criminal proceedings against De Jong to worm their way out of paying the contract that he signed with the club. It's staggering. And then the more you dive into it, it, even, it becomes even more staggering. Of course, you know what Barcelona have been doing this, um, this, this summer. Selling off all the assets of the club for a short-term cash injection to spend on all the players. They've sold, what is it, 25% of their TV rights overall to 6th Street. And now this is emerging from Spain today at the same time. Spanish radio, uh, there's, it, there's reports out in Spain that Barcelona jointly set up a holdings company to which it paid 150 million euros of its own money to buy its own assets to inflate the value of the sale. The Liga rejected it. That's crazy. The suggestion here that Barcelona created a holdings company inflated the, the, the value of their sale to try and reduce their debt that would have allowed them to, to make the register their new signings. And it sounds mad. It, it, it sounds... Nah, man, that's no way that's happening. This is the same Barcelona that asked UEFA the several seasons worth of Champions League money up front. It's mad. You see Martin Baith Braithwaite, a player who they're trying to force to take a pay cut. He's getting booed by the fans of Barcelona now. This man here, proceeding to... It's... Uh, I mean, we thought... Geez, we think Manchester United the circus. It's just... It, it's criminal. There's only, there's only one set of criminals in this whole De Jong situation. It's got absolutely nothing to do with De Jong. And it's got really nothing to do with Ten Hag. No, I, we, we agreed that deal with Barcelona a long, long time ago. A long, long time ago. We agreed that deal. But the very next day, Barcelona sent a letter to Frankie de Jong and his representatives threatening legal action. It's staggering. Honestly, man, like, this story sounds completely fabricated. This story sounds completely made up. It does not sound real, but it is 100% real. But Barcelona... I've not only tried to assassinate the character of Frankie de Jong, this is kind of, oh, look, he's not taking a pay cut. He's not doing what we need him to do to stay at the club in the same way that they're doing it with Martin Braithwaite, and he's now being booed by the fans. But more than a club, my word, man, what a joke. It is an utter travesty what's happening with this de Jong situation. And Man United have got ourselves all right firmly in the middle of it. Nobody. Not in their wildest imagination could have imagined a transfer situation like this that is developing and continuing to develop this summer. Barcelona are moving like a mob. They're, doing, they're trying to do what they want. They're trying to, they've got twisted accountants. They're putting numbers in different places. They're being caught out by La Liga. And they're trying to do everything within their power to not pay Frankie de Jong this contract that he is owed. It is pure scum behavior from that club. It really, really is. 
Frankie de Jong is caught in the middle of it. Manchester United are caught in the middle of it. To the point now where we're starting to panic and look elsewhere. Whereas in reality, there's only one man that, Frank, that Eric Ten Hag wants in that midfield. I've, I honestly, I, I really, really, really do not know what to think anymore. I, I, the more this story goes on, the more it somehow manages to surprise you in all the wrong ways. But Barcelona are threatening De Jong and his representatives, suggesting that that contract he signed with them was based in criminality, and it's not. They they basically trying to say we you can't hold us to that, and if you try, we're going to take you to court. My my mind is blown. I, 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 you need to let me know what you think about this in the comments below. But 